Hey boys, it's GM Drain Gretzky back. Uh, sorry, I, we, I just missed a bit of the first part of um, the video here. But i just gone quickly through. Uh, we're just starting the first round of the playoffs now. So, we're going up against Anaheim right away in this first game here. Down 2-1 to start. Uh, going into the third period here. Uh, looking at, We already took a look at their lineup, actually. I did off camera, and they don't seem to have as much depth as we do. So I think we should be able to take this series. But so far, it looks like they're winning. We got twice as many shots as they do, but I don't think that's going to matter. And it doesn't matter. As oh, yes. Clutch Marcus Grandlin comes through with 18 seconds left. I don't know what is wrong with this team, why it's so clutch, but it just is. Power play, boys. Come on. Let's get this win. Steal this game. We got 50 shots on the net. Come on, we got to score more than two goals. There you go, boys. Elias Pettersson. Who else would score it other than Mr. Clutch himself, Elias Pettersson? Boys, that is what I like to see. Steal a game from, from the Anaheim Ducks. You know, down 2-1. 18 seconds left. Tie her up. That's what I like to see, boys. Well done. So let's get back into the second game now over here. Uh, first period, 1-1, one, one, all right. Sven Barchi gets one. S all right, still 2-2. Two, two. Besser gets one. All right, there we go. Justin Schultz, he scores on Jakey. Uh, if we can get one more, just get an insurance marker here. No, it's not what I like to see. Come on, boys. Oh, no, this is not good. That's not good. Come on, two quick in succession. One more, boys. We're all shooting them. We're all over them again. Can we get one last one? Just like last time. Ah, come on, boys. We can't let those kind of games get away. This is why I'd rather have Thatcher in the net rather than um, Yarrow because I know Thatcher, I mean, he doesn't clutch last year, but still, he's a much better goalie than Yarrow is, at least. So now let's get into the next game. We're at 1-1. One one. We're tied up in the series. Now we're going over down to Anaheim. So first period, we score two, they score one. Sven Barchi, Bo Horvat, nice. Nothing in the second period. Sim to the third period. We take it. Sven Barchi scores an early one. Gets us in that win. Um, I mean, we're doing good now. We're 2-1 up, which is awesome to see. Um, if we can win this next one, I think we'll be in good shape to take the series. I fully expect us to take this series. They're not that good of a team. Their, their depth really drops off after the second line. So no goals there. Big explosion from Anaheim. Eberle, Raquel. Goldobin gets one back. I'm just going to go ahead and sim the third. We get two late, late goals, but I mean... We were five down, one down at that point, so really it's pointless. So there we go. Now we're up at two two. Come on, boys, can we just win this next game? I don't, I don't want to lose to a team like Anaheim where they, you know, we're so far ahead of them in the standings, at least twenty points. This is, oops, wrong, wrong button. But this is a game where you know, even if you look at overalls, like we're way ahead of these guys and forwards. In goalies when Thatcher comes back hopefully he's uh, I checked the injury report he's coming back on the 27th so I don't think he'll be able to return for this series but he'll definitely be able to return for the next series so as long as we can get through this one so no goals we get to Pedersen and Nick Rich or uh, Brandon Saad is finally coming alive that's nice to see I don't think he scored too many goals in these playoffs so now come on Yarrow, I just need you to stay in the net. Just do what Craig Anderson did last year. There you go. Elias Pedersen, he gets a clutch goal. Marcus Granlin, this game's done. Raquel gets one back, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we got the win already. So now we're 3-2 up. Boys, we can finish it, close it out here. Let's be honest. Do we really want to... Oh, that's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. So we'll go best lines here. Elias Pedersen apparently was playing on the first. Now I want him on down on the second. He's playing good there. Uh, Sherback went down a bit, but still we got a lot of depth. Wotherspoon for some reason is over here. 
I mean, must have an injury. Is there anyone better in the AHL? We do have Jared McIsaac. I'd rather call up Jared McIsaac than Wotherspoon. I don't... Who do we have as our scratches? Stetcher, yeah, Stetcher's out. So as long as we have Thatcher in net, he's injured, but he should be okay. He's only slightly. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and call up Jared McIsaac instead of for Wotherspoon to play, because I'd rather have Jerry McIsaac play. He's he's a better player, and he can be playing top six. If you look in his, uh, his moves will be... So I need to send someone down. I'm going to go ahead and send down Wotherspoon, because, I mean, he really shouldn't be up there. He's being paid way too much anyways. I'm going to go ahead and call up um, Jerry McIsaac. He's happy. Boost his morale a bit play with whoever's got the hot hand it seems Jared McIsaac does so he's a little worried but that's okay so let's get into it boys come on this team I think can win it come on boys just get an early lead it's not good Goldobin gets one at least second period Justin Schultz come on get one get a quick one and we can steal this game come on boys Yes, there we go. Brandon Sad. He comes alive in this pivotal six game. We need to win this one. This is one that we definitely need to win. Power play, nothing. Another power play. Come on, power play. You got to do better than that. Two, one minute left. And nothing. It does, seems like we're going to OT, baby. Come on, Yarrow. I need you right now. I need you. As long as the, we're not allowing too many shots, which is good. Come on, Elias Pedersen. Captain Clutch, step up, buddy. I know you're there. Yeah, power play. Come on, power play. You got to do better. That oh, Was that a five-minute? And we couldn't score. Come on, boys. Double OT now. It's going down to the wire. Yes, that's what I like to see. Bo Horvat, Captain Clutch, comes in, scores a big goal, and we take the series. <laughs> Cheerio to the Anaheim Ducks. Next uh, opponent on the way could be Edmonton, I think, or Calgary. Let's see who it is. Simulate day. Let's see. No. Oh, it looks like it's going to be Edmonton then, I guess. So interesting. We rematch with... Uh, did we play Edmonton? Yes, we did last year, actually. I think they had a decent team, but it was just basically McDavid with a really good first cup, first two lines, and then past that, really not that much. We can check out their... Um, lines quickly if we go two view lines uh this is anaheim's again i'm not surprised that we beat them we, sh we should have beat them they're not that amazing um so going to edmonton now i mean they got a great first two lines dry saddle he's great 89 he's really good there but again their fourth line yamamoto i guess makes up for bull horvat but still that 98 and 89 is pretty good. On defense, they do have a good top four, but past that, especially their top two. I think they had one more defenseman last year. I cannot remember now, but they had one more guy that was here that was like an 86 or an 88 or something like that. But now, obviously, he might be injured or something, so they don't have him anymore. And if we go to goalies, they still got Cam Talbot in there. So... I mean, it's going to be a decent match. I think Connor McDavid is definitely a good player, but I think our defense is more than able. Like, I mean, they were high flying, 58 wins, 21 losses. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a good series. Much better than the one last year. Last year we were down 3 2, came back and won it. So I wouldn't mind if we did that again. The Nuge gets one. Yamamoto. So a 3 0 blank job. Hey, okay, boys, come on. We can do better than that. If we can go for back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, that'd be nice. I would not mind that. So Marcus Granlin, he's at a point per game. Uh, in the corner there, you can see that's nice. As we continue on. Okay, boys. We're still in Edmonton for this one. They got one. Stromer. Again. There we go. We scored two. One again. Sven Barch, he scores the late goal. We scored that late equalizer. I don't know why that's our special, but it just is. OT, can we go? 
One more in OT. Come on, boys. Ah, no, we can't. Leon Dreisaitl wins it. So now we're down 2-0 in the series. Come on, boys. Don't go down 3. Not, not now. Now that is not a good time for that. Man, I remember last year we were beating them with like 7 nothing wins. And it was, I was wondering where that was coming from. Like, ridiculous. We're just scoring like... Seven goals against this great team. So there, there's one at least. Tierney, fourth liner. Granlin gets one. And we scored two more. I was worried there for a second. I thought they would tie it up. But Justin Schultz, Nikita Sherback, they ice the game. Make sure these Edmonton Oilers aren't getting bad. So now it's 2-1. It's looking a bit better. We, st we got another home game in Vancouver. Uh, I mean, it's not, you know, a dire situation. St. Louis there is down 3 nothing to... Nashville, which isn't good. I mean, last year we were down to St. Louis, I think, against 3-1. And we still made it, so that's not good. They get three quick ones. Tyler Benson, Leon Dreisaitl, I'll pull you to Harvey. One more from them. 5 nothing win, loss. And that, those first two lines are just destroying us right now. Oh, man. Dreisaitl, pull you to Harvey, and... Mick, Mick David, of course. So, boys, now we're down 3-1 in the series. We got three games. Let's go. We've done. We've been in this situation so many times before. Let's get through it and just get past these guys. So, there's one. Jared McIsaac to call up. He scores a big goal. But they get two back. Boys, this could be their season here. Come on. No. Down 3-1. No, not like this. Come on. We, I know we can do it. Just get one quick one, boys. Somebody, Elias Pettersson, Marcus Granlund. When I call you, usually you do it. Please. Ah. No. One more. Connor McDavid ends the game. Ah. So, no, unfortunately, no back-to-back -back Stanley Cups for your Vancouver Canucks. We're just going to have to go ahead and sim over here to the draft. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of how what happens sometimes. I would have liked to have been able to, you know, get somewhere, but again, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, really? It would have been nice, but Edmonton was a really good team. I wouldn't be surprised if they go on and win the Stanley Cup. I mean, 58 wins—that's almost unheard of in the NHL now. And really, what are you gonna do? I think we can just look forward to. The, night, the draft now get some prospects I think um, my model now is we've beefed up the defensive core we have a lot of defensive prospects we have a lot of good defensive players and Tampa Bay wins the Stanley Cup but we have a lot of good you know defensive players and such we have a lot of good offensive players I think now we're I want to not necessarily not necessarily look for a replacement for Thatcher Demko but maybe get another person who will over like just in case we don't have him, we have a good backup elite goalie kind of thing. Always have a prospect in the system ready to go, let's say, if he doesn't want to resign. So looking at the draft, New Jersey, Washington, San Jose gets lucky and moves up a lot. They got two top ten picks, so they'll be looking um, to get a good medium elite definitely in those top five picks. So we have no one retire, that's nice. If we go to all who is retired, Patty Marlowe finally at the age of 42. Henrik Sedin, our boy, he's played a couple seasons after we did. We couldn't get him that Stanley Cup. I mean, we won a Stanley Cup. We couldn't get him get it with him on the team. Uh, Zets, he's still an 87 overall, even at 41. So he might have been a good rental, actually, to pick up. Ryan Getzlaff, Daniel Sedin finally retires, too, on Nashville. Eric Stahl, Mika Koivu, Paul Stasny. This is quite a good lineup that's retired. Bufflin here. Uh, Zajac, Brent Seabrook, Mark Giordano. A lot of good players here. Um, Darren Helm. Brian Boyle, the legend. If we go to goalies, has Craig Anderson finally retired? No, he's still going, I guess. Hey, So Luongo finally retires at 43. Lundqvist at 40. 37 for Mark andre Mike Smith, Brian Elliott. So still some decent players. Uh, well done to them. I mean, Luongo was some fantastic. Some big Canucks that have retired. Luongo, um, the Sedins. 
big year for Canucks retirees. So I'm going to quickly take a look at the draft class here just to see really who there is, who we might be able to pick up. So there is a top 10. I might be looking at trading for him. He seems to have good stats, so he'd be something like a 60 overall. I wouldn't mind if he falls maybe to um, 10th, 9th or 10th pick. I'm definitely going to trade for him. Uh, who seems to be the consensus number one pick? It could be this guy, May. He looks pretty good. He's got all-around good stats. Uh, probably going to be this McCabe guy, offensive defenseman. Or it seems like this is a really good class, actually. This guy looks really good. Seems like there's some good players here. That's nice to see. So there is, I, I did see that exactly in the first round. So Murat. Murata. We'll look at getting him if we could, maybe. A couple high top sixes, that's good to see. Top four, there's an exact starter. I like that. There's a high starter. We're pr I'm probably going to try and take him. Uh, that high starter. So May goes first. McCabe then. 79. Ramjasing. Cook. So we're waiting for that other elite. Pogi. There he is, Parks gets taken. So I'm going to sim around to the maybe the 15th pick to see if we can snag that exact elite guy. As long as he doesn't get taken. I think 15th pit place is a good, good place to kind of trade for the pick. So would you guys like my first round pick? They would. Okay. And I can throw in a. I don't want to throw in a second. If, I, if, if I'm given a second, I want to get like a third and a fourth. A couple fourths back. I'd like that, please. No. So they don't want that. Is there any skaters or goalies that we can give away, maybe? There's a starter. Uh, no, I don't want to give a lot of these guys away. Jonathan Dolan, maybe. He's unhappy. Uh, Cole Lind, I guess we could. He's really not growing. There are a couple low top sixes that we could. Ooh, this this or guy. I don't know where he's come from, but he's 76 overall now. That's nice. Uh, probably this guy. I think we'll go for Allison and give him. Uh, so give me a two fours, and I'll take a maybe a couple picks from next year as well. Maybe actually, yeah, I'll take a fourth from next year as well. So. First, cool. Jason Allison, our first round pick from last year. See, no. So I'll take away a fourth. Still no. Um, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe if we get a second from next year, I think that's a bit better. I'm willing to not. Then that way, I feel like this draft is a bit deep. So they don't want to trade the pick. I don't care then. Uh, does Calgary want to trade their pick? They do not. So I think I'll take one more. Now, does Anaheim want to trade their pick? Is it worth it? No, Anaheim doesn't even want to either. Does anyone in Montreal, would you want to trade your pick? I mean, really, where is this guy projected? That's the thing. Because if he's projected to go, none of these play teams want to trade their pick. Um, so I'm definitely, I think I'm going to try and get a deal done here with Calgary to get that elite. So I'll go here. I'm definitely, you definitely need my first round pick. And I'll throw in a second round pick, I think. I think this is worth, there we go. I think a first and a second to get an exact elite is definitely worth it. So there he is, Murata. Just like the soccer player Murata, he is, doesn't have amazing skills but if he's a medium elite I don't care which he is so that's a great pick from us uh, I think I'm gonna try and sim to see what kind of picks there still are so we get another medium elite that's amazing actually now that I think of it for a first and a second really not that much value uh, are there any guys that I'm looking for maybe late there is a high elite goalie. I want to take him in the third round. So I think I'll sim ahead to the next round and try and trade for this third round pick here. 
Yeah, so I'll go ahead and trade for this third from Washington. And what does it look like? Can I trade for? I think I'm willing to give maybe like one of these guys, maybe um, someone like a prospect, maybe Nikita Sherback. He's a bit unhappy, but he's getting paid 5.5 mil. I don't know if that's really worth it. Honestly, that is quite a lot of money. Actually, if we're getting a goalie, it's worth it to trade this FNF guy. Because we can get a lot back. And especially from Washington, I think we can take like a couple draft picks from them for this guy. I'm willing to do that. They're willing to do it. So we just added a crap ton of draft picks. So even if we lost the starter goalie, we can get this high elite goalie. He's a high starter. That's freaking still really good that's actually quite rare but still very good a good pick we upgraded basically from a medium starter to a high start so that's worth it there is a high top six in the fifth round so we do have two picks in those rounds so i'll wait till then um to go ahead and make those trades i don't want to trade my prospects i'll keep them so now we have the first pick in this next round uh, looking at the people um, that are there, I'm really looking at this guy, Lutz. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him. He's a high top six, low top six, not the worst. He could, again, there's a low chance of him developing into like an 80 overall. So if I can get that, that'd be wonderful. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick this high starter. I have faith in him. He's a medium starter, but still still a good pick we just totally like revamped our goalie system with two starters more than more more just more than more than more than more than worth it um there's a couple top high top nines high league interest now we're picking i'm gonna take this guy who's got high league interest he's a bottom six not that good so i got a pick in the fifth round i'm just gonna go ahead and take that elite high elite hopefully he can at least he'll be at the minimum a low top six which probably what he'll be he is but that's okay i don't mind still a decent fifth round pick especially for what we already traded for i mean even just for the high starter it was worth it i'm gonna go ahead and take maybe this american this high top nine bottom six not good okay that's not good we, we're getting a lot of these bottom six guys i don't like that at least low top nice I would prefer but um, I think I'll go ahead and take this medium elite he's a low top six so that's good um, we'll continue on here who is there anyone decent there's a low top there's a couple low top nines I'm willing to take a chance on one of these guys actually bottom six wasn't really expecting much anyways but the draft is complete and we got some good players we got Murat up there medium elite um or say our third round pick high starter goalie really worth it really just upgraded our our um entire prospect pool again coming up with a new generation after Carponti. hopefully those guys are improving actually i haven't checked in on Carponche and Lafreniere lately, so we're gonna have to go over those guys how they're doing. Um, but looking at, we got 26 million cap space. Seems like we have a lot of people. I'm gonna go ahead and right away just uh, release J Justin Schultz. He doesn't want to resign. I don't want to resign him. Marcus Granlin. I'll give him three years at 80. He's 80 year overall. I mean, it mostly is because of his morale, but still worth it. Um, these low top sixes. I'm gonna go ahead and resign them. Because they do have still potential. Murad, I'm definitely going to sign. Uh, no, I don't want to sign the low top nines. Exact top nine. Mike McCarron. I'll give him a one-year deal at that. Dre Stetcher. Same thing. Oh, I don't think he's worth that. I'm going to have to release him. And he doesn't want to re-sign anyways. Weatherspoon. Uh, I think that's you're a bit overpaid for that price, buddy. Gibbons, a low top nine. He never really improved. Jordan Subban, he's a good seventh demon. So I'm going to see if I can get him a long... No, he doesn't want to sign for really long. So I'll give him a one-year deal. Uh, Kai Godorov. Nope. 
Gaidovich, he's still an RFA. I mean, this guy's a really a career minor leaguer, but I don't mind signing him, keeping him down there. Jonathan Dolan, he's a third line scrapper forward, but for some reason, if I give him a long term contract, he gets really cheap. So, I mean, I think that's worth it. Signing him long term while well, he doesn't think he's really worth it. Uh, this Cooper guy's improved, so I'll keep him in for the HL. Heiskanen, uh, really, he's. I'd, give him, I'd rather give him a bit extra time. 4.85, I think that's more than fair. Coolant, he's going to be another good minor leaguer. And that's, I think, everyone that we want to. Resign. Yep, handing out the contracts. Goalies, who do we have? We gotta sign these guys definitely, these starters and st stuff. Uh, Yara Halak, I'm sorry, buddy, I'm gonna have to release you. And Thatcher, definitely wanna resign him, even if it's for that long. Give him what he wants, he deserves it. So we'll go over here. I wanna see how our prospects are medium elite. So Lafreniere is now 73. Um, Carpentier is a 70. I was I mean, I guess that it's only their first year, and once free agency hits, they'll, you know, make a jump. Hanula right here, I think he was undrafted, or... No, he we drafted him. Sixth round, but... I mean, hey, he's still improved, so good for him. Just, you know, we got a lot of medium elites on this roster. So I'm gonna go ahead and sim. Uh, we'll get up to free agency, and I think we can... Then we'll stop this episode. Uh, Mike McCarron accepts lots... Cranlin, Subban, Demko. So if I was given a chance to play, buddy, you were injured. I can't play you when you're injured. I don't know if you understand that, but accepted, accepted. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back and re-sign Thatcher. I'm definitely not letting him walk. That is not going to happen. He's our best goalie. I'll give you 8.75. Would that work a bit better? If I go last year's, no. Nope. Eight years, no, that's the cheapest I can get him at seven years. So we still, that'll leave us with like seven million cap space to sign someone really good, maybe. Be a top two defenseman, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, though there is a low top six still left, so we'll, re we'll give him a quick contract if we can. There's a fringe starter, but I think I'm going to leave him. He's really just trade bait. Um, so if we look at centers... Our center depth is ridiculous, if you ask me. We have Jonathan Dolan, who once he gets happy, he'll grow. Carpont DA, um, all these prospects, a top six, pre-RV right here. He's still yet to grow. Or, if we need, down there in the AHL. Uh, Chris Tierney, Bo Horvat, you know, just a good core. Elias Pedersen, he's doing well. Uh, so we're good for centers, good for left wingers for sure. Um, Brock Besser, he's running out of his deal next year, which is sad. But I mean, I think we're fine for right wingers. Once Sherback gets happy, he'll be a bit better. We might have to trade him if he doesn't. Or one, two, three, four, five. You know, one more top, I think. One more really good defenseman, I think, and we'd be fine for sure. Yeah, I think. One, if one of these guys can develop, I think we'll just go in free agency and just sign one. Jared McIsaac is now an 80, which is nice to see. It's taken him a while to grow. We drafted him in our first um, entry draft, but once and then once Heiskinen gets a bit happier, we've signed him when he was down and didn't think he was worth that much. So if we can get him on a good contract, that'd be nice. Uh, so we'll go ahead and. See if Thatcher accepts her contract offer, which I hope he does. And he rejects it. McMillan, he also rejects. We don't have enough players on our team. That's not my problem. I I mean, he is a low top six, which I'd like to sign him so he can grow. But if we don't have space, that's not, you know, what are you going to do? So I'll give him 9.25. I just really, I need this guy to re-sign. Because he is like our entire goaltending position. It's taken him a while to develop. You know, I kept him... For so long and again uh, he rejects I'm gonna have to give him a ridiculous deal then I'm not sure if that's worth it but again it's really expensive to get a good goalie so I'm gonna offer him 10 million on the dot for seven years 
That's uh, 1.6 mil more than he's asking. If he rejects this, then I'm not really sure what to do. And he does. So I'm just going to go ahead and sim to free agency because we don't really have a goalie. And I don't, I don't want to pay that much for him when I bet I can get him at free agency for less. So a lot of people did not like that Thapcher did not resign. We don't need any. Um, we could maybe use another right winger, but that's about it. Really, it's more defensemen. Any, before I go, any prospects that we can maybe look at getting? No, nope, not that I see. Alright guys, so I think this is a good time maybe to end the video here. 